recognized that there was a virgin birth mm -hmm. and a powerful love. Mm -hmm. when, when Jesus taught his disciples, he is imparting his life to them. Just like he imparts his life to us through the word. It's not so that it remains in you, but it's going to flow out. So Jesus never produced even one theologian. Among his disciples, there was not one theologian. They were fishermen, tax collectors, zealots, and goodness knows what they were. And Jesus said, you will be witnesses to the things I said and did in Jerusalem, Judea, to the uttermost parts of the earth. Jesus did not produce theologians in that. And that gives us a lot of hope. It is said that when Jesus got to heaven, the Father says, well, what plans have you got for the kingdom to be published throughout all the world? Well, I trained 12 men, and for three years I taught them I showed them the things I did, the things that they were to do. As it says in Acts, all the things that Jesus began to do and to teach, we continue to do. But anyway, uh, so, that, yes, the Father says, then what? Well, these twelve, they will teach others. Those others will teach others, and so on, down to time. Well, the father said, now this is all hypothetical, I know, but the father said, well, what happens if there's a breakdown in communication somewhere and that someone doesn't pass on the message? Jesus said, I have no other plan. You need to witnesses to what he had said and did. And so it's your testimony. If you read in the book of Revelation, they overcame the enemy because of the blood of the Lamb and the word of their testimony. <coughs> you don't have to be a theologian to propagate the kingdom. You only have to testify to what God has done for you. What has he done for you? What has he done for me? You share that. That is what changes people's lives. People will always have an argument against things you believe but they can't have an argument against what you've experienced. Amen. Now that's not my message.